Hey, what's going on? Director Ganzo Boogie here again, back for another update video. And I don't know about you guys, but it is snowing like crazy around where I live right now. But luckily, I was able to call out of work, and thank God, because I hate driving in the snow. One of my least favorite things to do ever. So, so glad I was able to get out of work today, and that gave me a little bit of free time. So I figured out film my update video and like always I got some real awesome stuff to show you guys can't wait to start digging in here and showing you guys what I have I got some criterions in this video and some awesome horror movies and I also have a few birthday gifts that I got a couple weeks ago that I'll show you guys actually my birthday was on the 22nd of January and I turned 25 years old I didn't really make a big deal about it on my channel or anything like that but for anybody curious my birthday was a couple weeks ago, but I'm um, going to just start digging in now and showing you guys what I got. And first off, I'm going to start off with the Criterions. Like I said, I have three Criterions here. One of them is a Blu-ray, and it's actually the only Blu-ray I have to show in this video. So I'm going to start off with that. And this is Island of Lost Souls. And this is one of my favorite classic horror movies. It's from 1932 based on the H.G. Wells novel, The Island of Dr. Moreau, which is an awesome book. And um, this movie also has Bela Lugosi in it. And this is just such, such an awesome movie. I would highly recommend this to any classic horror movie fan. And um, this actually used to be really hard to find. The only way you used to be able to get this movie it was on an old Universal Monster VHS tape, which is kind of weird, too, because actually... It wasn't a Universal Monster movie. This was actually, I think, like an RKO picture or something like that. But somehow, in the early 90s, when the when U Universal MCA, I think, was putting out all of the uh, Universal Monster Classic Collection editions, which are my favorite way to buy the Universal Monster movies, they put out Island of Lost Souls, which was awesome. I own that tape. It's one of the hardest tapes to find in the Universal Monster classic monster series and um just an awesome awesome movie i would so so highly recommend this movie just great stuff and one thing that i thought was really cool about this is actually i'm a huge fan of the band devo and i had no idea about this there was actually a little interview with a couple of the members of devo and they talked about how this movie inspired them to start the band devo and a lot of the uh, themes that were introduced um, early on in Devo's career, like de-evolution and stuff like that, came from the ideas from this movie, and I just thought that was really cool. And another really cool thing on this, if any of you guys are on there, are Devo fans. This actually comes with Devo's first short video they made back in 76, where it has them performing their song Secret Agent Man and Jocko Homo, and it's just one of the coolest music videos I've ever seen in my life. I would say I, I'm almost just as happy to get that video as I was to get this movie. So this was just such an awesome pickup and purchase. Probably my favorite purchase out of all the things I'll be showing in this video. Just such a great movie. So would recommend this one to anybody who's a classic horror fan out there. All right, well, let's move on. And next up is another classic horror film. And this is The Most Dangerous Game. And actually, how I became familiar with this movie was back in high school, we had to read the book, The Most Dangerous Game. And in my English class, we actually watched this movie. I'm pretty sure we watched the same edition as this one that I have now. This is, of course, Criterion Collection number 46. And um, this is just an awesome, awesome movie. This is about um, a, a guy who gets shipwrecked on this island, and on the island... There's this guy who um, hunts people, and it's just such a cool, awesome story. One thing that's really, really cool about this also, though, is that it was directed by one of the directors of King Kong. There's actually King Kong, the classic King Kong movie, was directed by two people, and one of the people who directed the movie directed this movie, and this movie actually has a lot of the same cast as King Kong, and it uses um, some of the same sets. So, um, Bay Ray is, is, is in this movie, and she's the star of King Kong, and she's awesome. She does a great job in this movie, really good job in this, actually. And um, I really like her character, too. She's not a damsel in distress in this movie, even though she is a little bit. 
but she's actually running for her own life and fighting for her own life in parts of this movie, too, which I thought was pretty cool. And um, so this is really cool. Highly recommend this one. Again, this one came out in 1932. And um, like I mentioned, this was actually filmed on the jungle sets of King Kong while King Kong was being filmed. But this movie was actually released before King Kong because King Kong had so many post-production effects put in, you know, all the stop motion animation that it took like an extra year for that movie to come out. But just all-time classic here. Great stuff. Then last for the Criterion editions is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, directed by Terry Gilliam and based on the novel by Hunter S. Thompson. And if you guys have ever wondered, actually my name, Dr. Gonzo O'Boogie, is actually, I, I took the name Dr. Gonzo from the book Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So I love this book. It's one of my favorite books ever in high school. I carried this book around with me like a Bible. I just loved everything about it. And when I first went to college, I read all of Hunter S. Thompson's other books. I'm, actually, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but I got snow plows coming down my street right now. So if anybody's wondering what that noise is, it's just snow plows right now. But I um, love the book of this, and I also really like the movie. I know some people who are a big fan of the book don't like the movie, but I think Johnny Depp did a great job portraying Hunter S. Thompson. I mean, Hunter S. Thompson is just such a weird, unique guy that I, I, I couldn't imagine anybody playing him. I mean, I think, yeah, Bill Murray played him in an old movie called Where to Buffalo Roam, but Hunter S. Thompson did such a I mean, Johnny Depp did such a great job as Hunter S. Thompson in this movie that I just, I love this movie. And I used to watch this movie in high school all the time, too. Just one of my favorite, favorite high school movies. So it's been a while since I had this one. For some reason, I traded my co copy off a couple of years ago. I can't even remember why, but I, for a while, I've been really wanting to pick this one back up. I was thinking about getting the... Uh, the Steelbook Blu-ray of it, but I really didn't like the cover artwork for it, so I'm really glad that I came across the uh, Criterion DVD for it used, because this is just an awesome, awesome looking DVD here. I'll show you guys this, like the, some of the artwork comes off with the slip, and then this has a Ralph Steadman drawing, who he does all of the drawings for Hunter S. Thompson's books. And just a two-disc set, of course. Got an awesome booklet and everything like that. Some really cool special features on here, too. There's a... There's, like, this little short thing called uh, Fear and Loathing on the Road to Hollywood, which was from 1978, and it follows Ralph Steadman and Hunter S. Thompson on a journey back in 1978. It follows them around. They go to Las Vegas or something like that. So that is really awesome, too. I remember watching that back in high school. So really looking forward to checking this one out again. So that was it for the Criterion Editions, but I have some more awesome stuff to show you guys. And actually, I had said earlier that the only Blu-ray I got was Island of Lost Souls, but actually this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And this is the four-disc 40th anniversary of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And this has been a DVD Blu-ray pack that I've been wanting to pick up for a while now since this first came out and I saw people... On here showing it I've been wanting to get this but it was just a little bit too pricey for me in the FYE that I usually go to they were selling this thing for 40 bucks so I just I always passed on it but actually recently I went to a Best Buy and they had this there for $20 so if anybody else is been passing on this for the price I would say definitely check out Best Buy because they had it there for me for 20 bucks so I thought that was a awesome deal on this really glad to pick this one up of course i'm sure everybody watching this has seen the texas chainsaw massacre so i don't even feel like i need to explain but it's one of the best low budget horror movies ever made just no no debate in that at all just one of the best and i just love this movie to death and i always watch this movie around halloween time just one of the best movies to watch around that time of the year it's also a good horror movie to watch in the summer too of course but this great stuff here, and this is a four-disc set. Comes with the uh, Blu-ray plus a special feature disc. Um, that's a Blu-ray, and then it comes with the DVD of the movie plus a special feature disc DVD format. So pretty cool stuff here, and this has an all-new 4K scan. But I'm sure all you guys know the details about this already. Awesome set. Can't go wrong with Text Chainsaw Massacre. Next up, I have another set here. This is the Jason. 
Slash your collection set. I actually been wanting to get this one for a while. I've had Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason separate on DVD for years now, but I have the uh, the Friday Thirteenth set that comes with the first eight films, the Crystal Lake to Manhattan set, where they're all in slim cases, and I've always wanted to get this one to go next to it. So I'm really glad I finally did that. Because I'm really happy about this set. This is a nice little set. And I'm actually not the biggest fan of these three. I love the first eight Friday 13th movies. If you guys have ever seen any of my videos. You guys know those are some of my favorite horror movies ever. Watch watch the whole first eight Friday 13th movies. Usually like about twice a year. I'm just addicted to watching those. Just some of my favorite horror movies ever. And these ones, not so much, even though I used to rent Jason Goes to Hell a lot when I was younger. But the older I got, the more I disliked the movie, because it's just kind of such a stupid movie. Like, you know, it's not hard to make a Friday 13th movie, and they just totally screwed it up. Jason X, I always have sort of liked. There's a time in my life where I thought it was the worst Friday 13th movie ever, but I think Jason Goes to Hell um, wins that award as of now. Or actually, maybe the Friday 13th remake. That's equally as bad as Jason Goes to Hell. But um, Jason X is pretty good. It's cheese ball, Jason in space. You know, basically, I'm a huge fan of science fiction horror movies like the Alien series. And I'm also a huge fan of Friday 13th. So that one actually works for me. I like, I kind of like Jason X. And then Freddy vs. Jason is pretty good, too. I actually think of all, out of all the vs. movies, it's probably one of, the, one of the better ones. I like it better than Alien vs. Predator. Um, but just like with Alien vs. Predator, Freddy vs. Jason had a lot of hype before it came out in action figures and comic books. And um, I don't think the movie quite lived up to all the hype, but I still find Freddy vs. Jason an, an enjoyable horror movie. And I'm sure all you guys have seen this set. It's pretty common. I actually found this one at a store called Ollie's. I don't know if you guys have that one around you. It's kind of like a discount store. They got a lot of stuff for cheap, like you can buy you know, paper towels and crap there, but they have movie a movie section and they had this here they had that this set there brand new i think it was like 6.99 or something like that so i thought that was a really good deal on this brand new so really glad to finally pick this one up all right next up here is a midnight movie uh midnight movie movie and a roger corman movie and a vincent price movie so a lot of stuff going on here this is the pit and the pendulum so i'm really glad to add this one to my collection because not only does it add to my midnight movies collection it adds to my roger corman collection and my vincent price collection and roger corman is one of my all-time favorite directors and these movies he did in the 60s with vincent price for um i think american international pictures or whatever it was are some of his best movies just really good atmosphere classic horror here i used to have this one i think years ago but i'm glad i picked this one up again because i've been trying to get all the vincent price edgar Allan poe related roger corman movies just great stuff and then last here before i show you guys the birthday gifts that i got i don't have too many of those to show you guys but last year for the update sorta is the incredible shrinking man and this is a Universal picture from do, 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 the um, 1957. So this is one of Universal's science fiction pictures. Around this time, they were doing Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Mole People, this island there. So that this is like the height of Universal's science classic science fiction movies. And I've always really liked this movie. I used to have it on a Universal sci-fi pack years ago, but sadly, I do not have that pack anymore. I do need to rebuy that because it's an awesome awesome pack but this is a really really cool movie this is actually a little bit of a more of a serious movie than i thought it was going to be you know you see a movie called the incredible shrinking man i thought that it was going to be like some sort of you know 50s honey i shrunk the kids type cheese ball movie but this was actually a pretty serious movie about this guy dealing with um you know this problem he has where he keeps growing smaller and smaller and smaller and how to how it affects his life and everything and i thought this was a really really good movie i was actually almost surprised at how good this movie was so i would definitely recommend this one for any of my subscribers who are classic sci-fi fans out there all right and then next up here just going to show you guys some of the birthday gifts i got 
Um, I actually got a few other birthday things, like some of this stuff that I showed you guys earlier here with stuff that I picked up with, like, birthday money I had gotten and other stuff like that. But these were gifts that my buddies, Mike and Joel, gave me. They're my two best friends, and these are some of the gifts that they gave me. My friend Joel gave me two DVDs here. One of them is Blue Velvet, the David Lynch movie. Really looking forward to watching this one. I haven't gotten around to it yet since I got it from him, but I'm a pretty big David Lynch fan, and I haven't seen too many of his movies. I've only seen Elephant Man and Eraserhead, which are my two favorite movies from him as of now, but like I said, they're the only two I've seen from him, and I've seen a couple episodes of Twin Peaks, but I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And um, he also gave me Black Sunday from Mario Baba, and this is really cool. It's got Barbara Steele in it, and I've always wanted to check this one out. I'm a pretty big Mario Baba fan, the godfather of Italian horror, and I only got a couple of his movies on DVD, so I'm glad to get another one. So really awesome stuff here. Can't wait to check this one out. Might even check that one out tonight, actually, because I got the day off from work today because of the snow. All right, and then the last thing I got here actually is a gift from my buddy Mike, who also has a YouTube channel, and he does update videos from time to time. I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video for anybody who wants to check it out. And this is actually a video game. My buddy Mike got me Twisted Metal for PlayStation, which is one of my favorite video games ever. I used to play this one with my brother when I was really young, and I've always just had a lot of fun playing this one and all the other classic Twisted Metal games. I would say my favorite ones in the series are probably Twisted Metal 2 and 3, but the first one is just an all-time classic, in my opinion. Nothing reminds me more of my childhood than seeing these graphics and hearing the cheesy 90s rock music on the soundtrack. Just great stuff here. And this is actually like a harder-to-find find edition of this, because as you guys know, classic PlayStation games usually come in CD cases, but early on, they used to release their games in, like, bigger cases like this. I know there's a couple different variations on how the cases looked. I think some of them are plastic, and this one is cardboard, but this is just awesome. I've been playing this game lately and trying to beat it with all the characters and just been having a lot of fun doing it. And actually, I got one more thing to show you guys. I almost forgot. Actually, for anybody who's a fan of my blind bag videos, which I, have, I hope I have a couple of my subscribers out there who find my blind bag videos fun to watch because I've been loving to make them lately. I have a lot of fun buying the uh, mystery bags, and I also have a lot of fun opening them up and making the videos. So um, I have some Marvel mystery minis from Funko. I actually got three of these. I went to FYE, of course. I was planning on picking up some of the horror or sci-fi ones, but they didn't have any. But they are having a deal by two, get one 75% off. So I'm a pretty big Marvel fan, so I figured I'd pick up some of these Marvel ones to check out. So you guys can look forward to these on a future episode of Blind Bags. Probably be up later on this week or you know, over the weekend, something like that, because I haven't filmed, of course, I haven't opened these yet, so I haven't filmed the video of me opening these yet, so I'm looking forward to doing that to see which characters I get, but you guys can see more about those when the video goes up, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, like always, if you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up or leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.